I just want to ask both of you, uh, would your companies ever consider taking these kinds of actions that privilege a hostile foreign power over the United States and especially our men and women in uniform? Ms. Sandberg. I'm not familiar with the specifics of this at all, but based on how you're asking the question, I don't believe so. Also, no. So thank you for that answer. Mr. Dorsey, let's turn to Data Miner, uh, which is one of the services that provides um, basically all of Twitter's data. The last time we had an executive from Twitter before, before this committee in an open setting, uh, I asked about reports that Data Miner had recently ceased its cooperation with the Central Intelligence Agency. At the same time, it continued to cooperate with Russia today and other proxies of Russian intelligence services. Uh, I have since seen reports that Data Miner no longer cooperates with Russia today or any other proxy of Russian intelligence services. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct. Uh, did you make that decision personally? No, we we have a long we have a long standing term uh, against uh, utilizing public Twitter data for ongoing twenty four seven surveillance. Um, and that's why you decided to cease cooperation with the Russian government or proxies like Russia today? No, that, that is a, a different matter. This is could you, in regards... why, could you explain why you ceased that cooperation then, or that relationship with Russia today and other Russian intelligence proxies? Uh, when we learned of uh, the link of Russia today and Sputnik, uh, we ceased to allow them to be an advertiser on the platform. We calculated the amount of advertising they did on the platform as $1.9 million. And we donated that to uh, civil liberties non nonprofits. Would you now reconsider the decision to cease your cooperation with the Central Intelligence Agency or other American intelligence agencies? We're, we are always open to any legal process uh, that an agency would present us. Um, so we don't believe it necessary. This is a global policy around surveillance in general and real-time surveillance. I, I will state that all this information, because Twitter is public by default, is available to everyone uh, by just going to our service. Do you see a difference between cooperating with the United States government and the Russian government or the Chinese government? Uh, do I see a difference? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, is Twitter an American company? We are an American company. You prefer to see America remain the world's dominant global superpower? I, 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 I prefer that uh, we continue to uh, help everywhere we serve, and we are pushing towards that. But we need to be consistent about our terms of service and the reason why. And the reason why is we also have a right and a responsibility to protect the privacy of the people on Twitter from constant 24-7 surveillance. And we have other methods uh, to enable any issues that an intelligence community might see to subpoena and to give us uh, proper legal order, and we will work with them. I, I have to say, I, I disagree with any imperative to be consistent between the government of China and Russia on the one hand and the government of the United States on the other hand. Or, or would you be consistent or even-handed between the government of China and the government of Taiwan? We, I, what I meant was a consistency of our terms of service. And of course, there will always be exceptions, um, but we want to we want to have those go through due legal process. Let me turn uh, to the actions you've taken about the 2016 election, both of your platforms, um, and specifically one action you haven't taken. You, you have removed several accounts um, as a result uh, of your own investigations, I think some of this committee's work, and, and I commend your companies for that. One, accounts that one set of accounts that remain on your platforms are WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. Um, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, when he was the director of the CIA, characterized WikiLeaks as a non-state hostile intelligence service. Uh, this committee has agreed with that assessment now for a couple years in a row, yet both WikiLeaks, uh, which propagated some of the leaked emails in the 2016 election from the Democrats remain active on both Facebook and Twitter, as does Julian Assange. Um, Ms. Sandberg, could you explain why Facebook continues to allow their, their accounts to be active? I'm not going to defend WikiLeaks, and I'm not going to defend 
the actions of any page or, or actor on our platform. WikiLeaks has been public information. It's available broadly on, on other media. And as such, it doesn't violate our terms of service and it remains up on our site. And Mr. Dorsey? So we, we also have not found any violation of our terms of service, but uh, you know we are open, as always, to any law enforcement insight that would indicate a violation of our terms.